When Apollo spacecraft like these were traveling between the Earth and the Moon a quarter of a million mile journey, they needed to be very, very precise in their direction and their distance. What if they hit the Moon? What if they missed the Earth? What if they came back through the Earth's atmosphere and burned up? They had to be very, very precise. There were different ways they could do that. The ground could track them using radio and work out where they are, but what if the radio failed? They also had gyroscopes inside the spacecraft, but it's impossible not to have a tiny little bit of friction acting on those gyroscopes. So the astronauts would use an ancient way of doing things, using a sextant and actually sighting the stars as they traveled. This one is in the back of the spacecraft, and those crew members would float back there and look through optical equipment while in a standing position. First, they'd look through the telescope on the right-hand side. It had a wide field of view to locate stars as guide stars. Then they'd shift to the telescope on the left, which had a much narrower field. And working with a computer, they could measure the angles to certain stars. And by sighting on many stars, then averaging out that information, they could work out their location. They'd also measure the angle between the stars and the horizon of the Earth or the Moon. It was all actually very simple, although it meant those astronauts had to learn the stars around them very well before they flew in space. So here at the back of the Apollo 9 spacecraft, you can see the two telescope openings on the side of the spacecraft. You really don't want to put a hole in the spacecraft anywhere you don't have to, because you can also see how the heat of fiery re-entry has also damaged the outside of the spacecraft. So now you're going to see celestial navigation for yourself using a star chart app, which is actually much more technologically advanced than anything these Apollo astronauts had.